Hello everybody. Welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are hunting Degenowitz. Today, <laughs> today we are continuing content yeah. Now I can't talk. Continuing with our mission, our bounty mission. We are looking for Otis Skinner, the leader of the Skinner brothers. And uh, he's wanted dead or alive. So I feel like we're gonna wanna try and bring him in alive, but you know, if we need to, looks like the Skinner brothers have been over there. So the last time we were together, we sort of met the Skinner brothers ourselves here. We were bringing some wood back to camp. Ooh. Okay. Bringing some wood back to camp. We, uh, we bought ourselves a house. And, uh, we were attacked on our way home with the woods. So, Something tells me that when it comes down to it, these guys just need to go one way or the other. And it doesn't matter to anyone if we take them alive or dead. So we're gonna we're gonna do what we can. Capture Otis Skinner. There's only a couple of them, so let's get Let's get our repeater out. I feel like that's Otis right there. We got one. We're going to get seen any second now. I can't even see all of these people. We got two of them right there. Okay. And there's one down there. Is there another one? There's two more after this. Alright, so... Right about here, like this. So, one, two, uh, I can't see him, can I? No, I can't, alright. Ooh, I can. Okay. Good. Uh-oh. Oh, dog. Okay. Right. Ooh. Uh. They came for Otis. Where are they? They're up top. Okay. Okay. He's running, but he's right here somewhere. Right there. Okay. We got him. Oh no! Come on! Come on! Uh, got him. Okay, hog tie him real quick. It won't be worth what I'm gonna do to you. Oh yeah. Boom. Boom. Okay. We got our horse coming. We got the Skinner brother. 
Snake oil. Okay. Cocaine gum times four. I don't know why we'd ever need so much cocaine gum. Mind if I check your pockets? All right. A little bit of money. That's, that's good. So now we got to take him to Blackwater. That was actually a lot easier than I had uh, thought it would be. This ain't over, mister. Not by a long... Not by a long shot. We'll see about that. Otis. We're taking you to jail. Shot. You ain't out of the woods yet. <laughs> Not even nearly. Stop! I'll be quiet. Alright, so we punched him. Perfect. I hope we don't get ambushed on the way back. I feel like we're gonna, though. Oh no, did I... What did I do? Shoot, shoot a civilian or something? Okay, got him. Oh, I must have shut his horse out from under him and not hit him. I hope that wasn't your only rescue party. Pride cometh before the fall. And you're going to fall, alright. Oh, hush now. Hush now. Uh oh, I feel like that's more pe- I- I probably- I shouldn't shoot at him from that far away. He's probably just an innocent bystander. You can't see him, but they're here. <laughs> they're watching you. And when- Stop with the fairy tales. When it's time. Shush. You need a rest. I like how he's like quoting scripture here. Some scripture. But Don't you wanna be free, huh? You're a slave I... to those people. They give you gold, you give them bodies. You're a dog. A servant. Peon. A wreck. You try to talk me to death? Talk me to death. <laughs> Any other pearls of wisdom, Otis? Oh! Shit! That was interesting. Otis Skinner, yeah. I present you I the Otis police. Here for you. God damn, get him in the cell already. Ain't this a charming little jailhouse? <laughs> I'll be comfortable enough. Ah! God damn, god damn. You better have some good money for me, Chief. I got your bounty money here. Thank you, sir. Honest work for honest pay. You should know there has been a cessation in the issuance of bounties in Blackwater. Apparently, we have the budget to build a city, but not to protect one. Oh. So does that mean there are no more bounties available? Okay. So let's check the map real quick, see if any new bounties have sprouted up. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's where I... <laughs> the trail of corpses leading back to where I was, of course. Armadillo. Nothing out there. What about roads? Nope, nothing in roads. Strawberry, perhaps? No. 
Or, or not strawberry, but uh, Valentine. Strawberry's over here. Where is it? Strawberry's over here somewhere. Right there. Mm, okay, so there's... So it looks like we've got all the bounties. Let's head back to our little wonderful home here, Beecher's Hope. And uh, we will talk with Uncle and see about his mission. I wonder if it's going to be to start actually working on our house again. After all, Uncle was the one who suggested that we go and buy the goods to do it. So, hopefully he's actually going to help when it comes to assembling it. We should also probably take a rest because, you know, our dead eye's sort of gone. So we'll take a rest first, actually. And then after that, we will go talk with Uncle, find out what the next mission is. Hi, Mr. Deer. I feel like this would actually be a really good, like, homestead. Hey, yeah. For John. Like, it requires a lot of work, yeah, but... Well, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, right? Is, isn't that how it goes? Something like that? Six AM. Alright. Let's go see Uncle. Oh Uncle. Uncle, what are you doing here, buddy? Can you even read those plans? I don't feel like he can. Those plans make any sense? Oh sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Now, you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here <laughs> comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Uncle, Uncle is just sleeping everywhere. On the table. Oh, I didn't see him in that one. Oh, there he is. Alright, Carrie. Interactive house building. Okay. I feel like one of those textures wasn't quite properly loaded up. With the, with the bird. The weather, we're together. Fat 
thank you, Uncle, for doing something useful for once, I guess. Hmm. It's really neat how they have gone through with, like, actually... Oh, John failed. Gone through with, like, assembling this house, and how that's part of the, the thing to, sh like, show us where the house came from. John, you are pasty white. You shouldn't be in the sun like that, dude. You're gonna, like, get melanoma. It's looking pretty good, John. I think you're covering a window, John. What was that? Oh boy. Charles doesn't know what was going on either. John, I think you should start at the bottom and work your way up. Not randomly in the middle. But whatever. Also, if those are, like, clay... Or whatever, you shouldn't really be hitting him with a hammer. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something uh -huh. very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank and <laughs> While I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please. Come back to me. Yours always, John. Hmm. A few days later. Oh, the Cowboy Builder Achievement. Awesome. Looks pretty good, John. You've done it. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Okay. Beecher's Hope is now... built. But apparently... 
Apparently our own doors are locked and we can't get into the rooms. This must be Uncle's room. Why are there so many doors to the outside here? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So let's check our map. Where is Uncle? He's over there. Now, it still says our bed is outside. Why is that? Wouldn't we, like, now that we at least have a roof, wouldn't we want to sleep on the porch or something? Yeah, because hey it still says... Hey there, Charles, how are you? Anything we should be worried about? Skinners. No. Seems quiet. Good. Maybe that was all of them. I'll see you around. Yeah. All right. Um. Hmm. Let's head back to Uncle. I don't know where he is. I feel like he's very far away here. Like, I feel like he never makes it this far away from the house unless he's going to the saloon, which he might be. Maybe he's just looking for a quiet place to rest. Yeah, under a tree. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep... Goats? Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. <laughs> but any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. The barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Okay. So, we're... F uncle, our fence is broken. Why is our fence broken, Uncle? Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, isn't it? <laughs> with your famous uh, way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Not yet. I'm sure we'll get some furniture. Maybe. What's this going on up here? Oh. 
cut through someone's backyard. There we go. All right, we're back to the lumber yard, Uncle. This is him. Speak to the lumber salesman. All right. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? John, we got things to tend to. We need a barn. A barn? Of course a you barn. do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna what pay was for that? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. John! Hey! Hey, Sadie! Sadie <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Okay. Call the bank. There's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know okay. the place. Okay, I'll follow you. John, why did you say you know the place? I don't know the place. Painted Sky. Okay. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Well, there isn't any more bounties, John. Really can't make a habit of it. Okay, come on. You're uh, the one who's lagging behind, Sadie. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, hmm. Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Okay. And it's good money, you said, right? Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del oh. Lobos? Okay. Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans? Some of them, but some is Californios, and some Californios. are Native Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. Hmm. Uh, Sadie, Sadie, why do you keep falling behind? Come on. Always was a little tiny. So back to what I was saying. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around? You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about. Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this feller I'd hired. 
Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. Me too. Yeah. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> no. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. Hey. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. <laughs> oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we're almost there. All right, let's see here. We should probably get a rifle, a good bolt-action rifle. Uh, oop, uh, let's use... Regular rifle cartridges, please, John. Okay. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You Whoa. No, no, no. Grab your rifle, John. Barn. I'll take the main house. All right. Okay. Get him. Nope. Oh, Cortez! We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. Oh. Uh, it'll all be over soon. Oh. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? Rhodes? It's different there now. Oh, is it? Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Hmm. We'll cross up here. Sadie, don't drown the poor man. Hmm. So what's so different about roads now? I wonder. Then. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred? No. Two hundred? Hundred. Wow. Mr. Sheriff? 
Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <laughs> we throw him on the ground. Hey, Why are we cutting him? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch him hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. Okay. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. I feel like something's gonna happen here. Is that f five days? Uh oh. Oh, Sheriff Thomas! Sheriff Thomas! We want our friend back! You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools! One! Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Okay. Okay. Why can't I target him? How are there so many of these guys? Come on, boy. I gotcha. Whoa! What was it? Come on! Something just jail. blew up. The jail! They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mm. All right. Down up. <sighs> Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Okay. Dewberry Creek. That's that's here. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have <laughs> some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you right? think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're oh, coming Oh, there's no back. if. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take 
$200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. <laughs> if the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. I suppose. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay okay. on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Get back on the road. Yeah, there it is. There was. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. All right, let's get my Carcano out. Uh, Carcano, and then let's get a repeater. Oh no, why didn't you grab the Carpocano, John? <sighs> oh, Sadie's got a Carcano, too. How wonderful. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This I... is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. I feel like she's gonna get killed. And shoot well. I do. I really feel like she's going to get killed, and I don't want her to get killed. Okay. Can you... Oh, you... Okay. Come on. Sadie, you better not get yourself killed. Where? Okay. Ooh, more of them. Wow, I'm really sucking today at shooting. <laughs> Sadie, wait for me, Sadie. Oh, okay. Okay, move up. Come on. Let's see what we can do about it. 
Not for long. Oh no! Why can't I hit him? Alright. One. Two. I need to get this guy. Uh, maybe I already did. Oh, is that Sadie? Sadie's moving up. Okay. Sadie, don't you get killed. Okay. I am gonna die. Did I shoot him? Clear the beach. Where are they? Like I'm shooting through them. Okay, where is he? Are we good? We might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough oh. for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Ha <laughs> I look great with that sombrero. Ooh, I can loot him. Again. What do you have on you this time? Get him on a horse. We can get out of here before the buzzers show up. Silver clamp buckle. It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. I'm doing the heavy lifting. Let's get out of here. Hey, lady. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. when you was offering money. Oh. oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for Not a failure to communicate. Horse, about to be taken to San Danita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. 
What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. I wonder if we could set him free. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fight and the killing. Hmm. Sadie, why are you riding up the tracks? Oh. My horse is startled for some reason. This is like the longest mission ever. Pick up Ramon. Oh. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I see you again. Hmm. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Sand and Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> huh. Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money simple. for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Interesting. Hey, a barn and a little corral. That's awesome. Bank loan. Bank loan received. Night. Holy, hundred and fifty. Watch the post, girl. Can I? How can I do this? Uh, no, that's wrong. So this, the journal. There we go. Now, if I go to the front page, does it, instead of telling me, instead of telling me the gang saving and stuff, does it tell me my loans? Total owed. Holy. One thousand three hundred and forty three dollars. But we've got like half of that right now, so we're doing better, I guess. All right, let's head into this room, I guess, and we'll get probably some rest. Yeah. Alright, so next time when we return, we will once again go and find Uncle, and we will probably get ourselves more in debt. <laughs> Because that's all that seems to be happening right now. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Red Dead Redemption 2. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.